it's me tft and yes we are back with another street food review we've come to gateshead to try out the kurdish bakery heard quite a lot about this place told me that they do an exceptional shawarma let's get in there and let's see what it's about here we are then guys we've come to kurdish bakery in gateshead now this place got recommended to us uh, people said it is by far one of the best shawarma places in gateshead so have a look let's lift up these covers and let's see what's underneath this one here is the chicken meal you're getting chicken shawarma get a bit close in there have a look chicken shawarma there we also got some fries unlike with all shawarma shops we've got ourselves some salad and we got a nice big naan bread nice and warm still fresh this meal here cost us six pound which i think is very good value right we also got ourselves the lamb skewer now the lamb skewers are coming to you at four pound a shot you got the skewer you got the portion of fries you got the salad and also you got this naan bread as well so that's four pound six pound four pound and for the first time i think on the channel we've got some coca-cola now we don't get round to gateshead much i know we did a shawarma place in rochdale a couple of weeks ago so it's good to get down to gateshead service has been fantastic half 10 till 7 six days a week closed on a sunday also you've got a nice selection of sauces you've got a shelf here as well you put your sauces along there i like the seating area it's nothing too fancy it's not the ritz it's not harrods but let's see what the food's saying also this place because a lot of people are asking tft why don't you mention the food hygiene ratings they've got a five okay let's start with the shawarma dig in there it's a nice portion they're not skimpy on the portion it is a decent portion thank you very much brother and it's thick cut as well it's not your normal thin cut shawarma sometimes if it's too thick cut it can be a bit dry uh, so let's see how this one tastes Exceptional. I'm really surprised that you go to a shawarma place, you think that's the best shawarma you've ever tried, but then you find one, uh, and it's even better than the last one we had. That there is absolutely spectacular. Really velvety chicken, not dry at all. Even though the big thick chunks of chicken, not dry at all. They've got a nice texture, they've got a lovely flavor. Oh, amazing evenly cooked as well there aren't many burnt bits in there because shawarma can be a hard thing to cook sometimes certain bits might get burnt might get crispy this chicken shawarma is maintaining its moisture it really is splendid now then garlic sauce Give it a garlic test. You can't have a shawarma without garlic. I'm gonna take some of this garlic here, chicken, and dip it in that garlic. I can tell you now, you, a lot of shawarma shops, they master the shawarma, but they also master the sauces. They have some exceptionally good sauces. Let's see what this one tastes like. Mm. It's got like a velvety kind of texture to that creamy to that sauce. Have a look. It's not as creamy. It's a lot runnier than the usual garlic sauces we get. But you know what? It works well because it wraps itself around that chicken. It doesn't overpower the flavor of that chicken. You're getting the chicken. You're getting them bitter herbs and spices. And right at the end, a bit like a blanket, you're getting that nice mild taste of garlic. Wow. We're up to 10,000 guys, we're nearly there. Thank you very much for your um, support, for your love. We had a lot of good messages, messages of support. A few hate messages kicked in there as well. But you know what, let's disregard them. We just concentrate on the positive people who watch the channel. Really appreciate your support. Right, 
moving on to chili. Hey, oh. That chili's got like a lighter red kind of color on it. I was expecting it to be a dark red color. Let's see what it tastes like. It's a lot more creamier in texture than the garlic. See? Wow. There we are. Wow. I'm not a big fan of chili, but I can tell you now, that chili sauce is probably the top three chili sauces I've tried since we started the channel. Exceptional. It may not look it in color, but what it lacks in color, it makes up in that kick, it makes up in that flavor, and the texture, everything else that's going about it. Mm. There's like a six or seven second delayed reaction, but it does get you eventually. Right, let's try the naan breads with the shawarma. Now the one, the, the, the the bread we got in Rochdale, it was decent, but it was a bit crispy. This here seems to be a lot more softer. It's got a better texture, it's not as crispy. Right, let's wrap it in there. Let's see whether or not the bread is gonna complement that chicken shawarma. Wow. <coughs> the food troll <coughs> is nearly choking on a one take review. <coughs> this is why the one take fun, one take reviews are fun. You never know what's gonna happen. But you know what? Absolutely amazing. Let's try the chips out. Now, they don't look like your standard fries. Oops. Maybe change the fries. You've got a really crispy outer, but there's absolutely nothing in the middle. There's no potato taste. It's like eating Walker's crisps. Yeah. Now then, let's move on to the lamb skewer. Now, when it comes to skewers, they differ to the shish kebabs and the shish kebabs. They're a lot more softer and they break open a lot more easily. You can see the juice is coming off there. I'm not sure whether or not they've put some of that Jif lemon on. Maybe that's what them juices are. But have a look. It's not holding its own. Usually when you get a sam, uh, lamb skewer, it doesn't fall apart like that. This one seems to be falling apart too quickly. If I could just bag that flavor up of that lamb, you're getting a strong taste of lamb. There's not much herbs and spices in there. It's very, very strong lamb flavor. Nice crispy outer, not burnt, but nice and crispy. And that Jif lemon or that juice they put on is giving it that extra bit of special kind of taste. You know what? I'm gonna finish that off. I'm gonna put it in a naan bread. <coughs> Sorry, cameraman. This one is mine. Right, what are we gonna do? We're gonna get dirty. We're gonna get down and dirty. Right, here we go. Let's put some of this garlic on. Let's go. And also, look here. We've got some chili powder. Add some heat. Let's do that. So what I like about this shawarma place is that uh, you go always going to get plenty of sauces. You're not going to be running anybody saying, can I have some more sauce, can I have some more ketchup. When you sit down, you're going to get the full works at a reasonable price. Mm. For four pound, that is banging. What's happening here, the juices out of their meats, or drenching into that naan bread. 
Hence, the naan bread is actually wrapping itself around that meat and it's two becoming one, as Spice Girls would say, two becoming one. Mm. Absolutely mind-bogglingly good, if there is a such a word. Right. Fantastic. Quick rundown, that chicken shawarma, six pound meal with the garlic, with the chili, fries, salad, and you're getting a naan bread, six pound. You cannot go wrong. You would be mad to miss something like that. The lamb uh, skewer, it's gone. It's been polished off. It did not last long because it was exceptional. For four pound, you have another half, four pound for lamb shawarma, chips, salad, and a naan bread. Absolutely fantastic. As I wash it down with a can of Coke, I'm gonna leave in these guys with a very, very respectable nine out of 10. Nine out of 10, absolutely fantastic. If the chips were better, if they had maybe better quality chips, I may have given them a higher score. But because of them chips, it's a nine out of 10, still a fantastic score, fantastic price, fantastic service. Parking's not an issue. You can get parked up outside as well. Check these guys out if you're up in the Northeast. In the meantime, them guys behind Kurdish Bakery, they just walk past me in the background there. You guys have all officially been food troll certified. And me and Coke, for the first time on the channel, we'll see you for the next one.